Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to be talking about word problems. And we're going to be talking about how we can use a number line to help us solve word problems. So our learning goal for today says, I can solve word problems involving time intervals within one hour by adding and subtracting on a number line. So it sounds like it's we're going to do a lot, but I'm definitely super confident that you guys are going to do great with this lesson. So let's jump in and take a look and see what we're actually going to do. So first we're going to start with our application problem. Our application problem today is going to relate directly to um, our main lesson for our concept development. So they're going to go hand in hand together. So let's take a look at the first part of our problem. It says Carlos gets to class at 9.08 a.m. He has to write down his homework assignments and complete his morning work before math begins at 9.30. So how many minutes does Carlos have to complete his task before math begins? So we're looking at the time from when he arrives to when his math begins. So when does Carlos arrive at school or at his class? Yeah, at 9.08 a.m. What time does his math begin? Yeah, 9.30. So we're really kind of thinking about we have like that 9 o'clock to 9.30 like time interval and we're trying to decide um, with, we're trying to decide and figure out how long does it take him to complete his work if he has from 9.08 to 9.30. So let's go ahead and draw our number line. This is the same way we did in the previous lesson. So here we're going to kind of go through. We have my intervals from 0 to 60. Okay, then we're going to label this as 9 o'clock, and this is going to be 10 o'clock. So then this part in between in the middle right here would really be our 9.30. So for the bulk of our lesson, we're going to be focusing on the interval from 9 to 9.30, so that 30-minute interval. So I need to find 9.08 on the clock, on the number line. So I have to break apart this 5. So I have from 5 to 10, I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 9.08 is when he arrived at class. So notice how I have 9 o'clock, 9.05, 9.06, 9.07, 9.08 is what that dot represents. Now I need to get to 9.30. So I'm going to make this little jump to my 10 because it's easier to be able to count when you can get to that 10. And then we're going to jump again and again until we get to 9.30. And now we need to kind of label those jumps that we've made to be able to figure out excuse me friends, to be able to figure out how long it takes him or how long he has to be able to complete those things. How long does it take him to do his homework assignments, to write them down and complete his morning work. So we've made all those jumps. Now we just have to kind of label them to be able to add them together. So this was two minutes from 9.08 to 9.10. From 9.10 to 9.15 was five minutes. From 9.15 to 9.20 was five more minutes. From 9.20 to 9.25 was five more minutes. And from 9.25 to 9.30 was five more minutes. So I'm going to do those skip counting that we talked about um, and count those groups of fives. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20 because there's four groups. So that's really like, friends, back to multiplication, 4 times 5, okay? There's four groups of 5 in each group. So that gives me 20. And then don't forget to go back and add that extra 2 that we have over here, that first little jump that we made. So it's really like 20 minutes plus 2 minutes equals 22 minutes. So Carlos has 22 minutes to complete his tasks, okay? So keep that in mind as we're going to be completing the next part of our concept development lesson. Okay, so this looks pretty familiar. This is the number line that we just had from our last problem. Um, now, the thing that I want to notice here is there's an, an interval between 9, 12, and 9, 30. So, um, friends, let me actually step back really quick. So he got to school at 9.08. It took him four minutes to be able to write down his, um, um, oh goodness. Sorry, let me go back. It took him four minutes. He gets to class at 9.08. It takes him four minutes to write down, um, his homework assignments. So let's see after that, how long does he have left? So that's where we get that 9.12 from. He started at 9.08. He had four minutes to write down his homework, so 908, 9, um, 909, 910, 911, 9, So that's where we're getting this 912. So the interval between 912 and 930 represents the number of minutes it takes Carlos to finish his morning work. So we need to find the number of minutes it takes Carlos to complete his morning work. And how can we figure that out? What do you guys think?
Yeah, we can count from here from this dot of 9, 12 and kind of make those jumps like we just did in the last problem to get to 9, 30. Okay, so what addition sentence can represent this problem? This is where this can be a little bit tricky as we're thinking, but first you want to start with where he's at. So he's at 12 minutes, right? He's at that 12 minute mark in 9, 12. Then we don't know how many minutes it takes for us to get to this 30, but we know that that's where we're ending is at that 30 minutes. So now we're actually, excuse me, friends. So now we're actually going to um, kind of make those jumps. So we have, I want to get to that nice friendly number of 15. And then I'm going to jump again, and then again, and again. Oh, look, I landed on 30, so now I'm going to stop. So let's go back in and label these. So I jumped three from here, so I was at 9.10, or 9.12, excuse me, to get to 9.15. So 9.12, 9.13, 9.14, 9.15. That's where that three comes from. And from the 15 to the 20 minutes is five minutes. From the 20 to the 25 is five more. And from the 25 to 30 is five more after that. So I'm gonna group those together and that's going to give me five plus five plus five is 15. Don't forget to add that first jump of three, which gives me 15 minutes plus three minutes equals 18 minutes. Okay, so that's how long it took from the 12 minutes to get to that 30 minutes. So 12 minutes plus 18 minutes equals 30 minutes. So Carlo still has 18 minutes able to complete his morning work after he writes his homework down. Okay, so some of these is a little bit tricky, but think about it. You're using this number line to be able to help you solve these problems, okay? Use that number line, create it. You're going to have a template in the course that you can use um, and just go through and take your time to be able to see those jumps that you're going to make. Okay. So for this next problem, I want you guys to get out your actual template that you guys can use for your number line. And I want you to draw a number line that looks just like mine. You need to pause the video to have more time to do that. Go right on ahead and then click play when you're ready to go over this next part of the problem together. Okay, so the next one of our problem says Gia, who's Carlos's classmate, gets to class at 9-11. It takes her 19 minutes to write her homework assignments and complete her morning work. So we need to figure out if Gia will have enough time, uh, if she's going to have enough time with that 19 minutes to be ready to start her math at 930. So we're going to still make those same jumps on the number line. We're going to be trying to go from the 911 because that's when she gets there to be able to get to that 930. Okay, so there's that 911. We're gonna make those jumps. She takes 19 minutes, okay? So we have four plus the five jump is nine plus five more is nine or is 14 plus five more gives me 19. So she has just enough minutes to be able to get there on time. So 11 minutes plus 19 minutes gives me that 30 minutes to get to that 930. Okay. So you guys are also going to get to practice subtraction with this in your um, module today in your independent practice. So make sure to think about when you're doing all of these ones that we did were addition. So you're having to jump to the right. So think about when you're doing subtraction to find the time interval, the change in time intervals. Um, you're going to have to go backwards on your number line. So nice job today, friends. Um, you did a good job problem solving with intervals. If you have any questions about anything today, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to head uh, to talk with you about it. So head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.